Ever wondered how to navigate life's ups and downs with an unwavering sense of calm and purpose? Welcome aboard as we dive into the seven hard-hitting questions every Stoic asks, a compass to guide you through life's unpredictable seas. Number one, what is within my control? This question, simple yet powerful, is the cornerstone of the Stoic philosophy. So imagine you're at the helm of your life ship. What can you truly command in the vast ocean of existence? The answer lies not in the external waves that rock your boat, but within the ship itself. Your attitudes, reactions, and behaviors, these are your loyal crew, obeying your every command. But what about the storms of other people's actions or the tide of natural events? The Stoics, including the great Marcus Aurelius, teach us that these elements are like the sea's depth, forever beyond our control. Trying to command them only leads to distress. So why not shift the focus? In your life's voyage, differentiate between what you can and can't control. It's a liberating exercise, like freeing your vessel from an anchor that was never really there. Let's make this practical. Today, when you find yourself in a challenging situation, ask, what is within my control here? Redirect your energy towards these elements and watch as your life ship sails smoother, steadier, and with purpose. Before we delve deep into these thought-provoking stoic inquiries, I have a small request for you. If this video offers you a nugget of wisdom or a moment of reflection, please do press that like button, share it with someone who could benefit and ensure you're subscribed to our channel for more enlightening discussions like this. Remember, your every like, share and subscription helps us in spreading the timeless wisdom of Stoicism far and wide. Now let's brace ourselves to explore the seven hard-hitting questions every Stoic asks, and let's see how they can transform our perspectives. Let's continue with number two. What do I truly value? Let's embark on a treasure hunt together, but not for gold or gems. Instead, we're seeking something far more precious, what you truly value. This quest is at the heart of Stoicism, a philosophy that prompts us to dig beneath the surface of fleeting desires and uncover the rich seam of meaningful values. Here's a powerful mental pickaxe. Ask yourself, what do I truly value? You may initially hit upon things like success, wealth, or popularity, but Stoicism invites you to delve deeper. Beyond the glitter, you might discover values such as kindness, wisdom, authenticity, resilience. These are your true treasures. The beauty of this Stoic treasure hunt is that it guides us to what genuinely enriches our lives, giving us a map to navigate life's labyrinth. When we unearth our deep values, we gain a compass pointing towards fulfilling and contented living. Now it's your turn. Reflect on this question today. Dig deep, seek fearlessly, and uncover the riches within. The treasure you unearth might just illuminate your path ahead. Let the Stoic excavation begin. Number three, am I making the most of the present? Picture yourself as a tightrope walker, balancing precariously between the towering peaks of the past and the future. Below lies the vast chasm of the present, often overlooked in our quest to reach the other side. Stoicism, however, invites us to descend from this high wire act and discover the firm ground of now. Am I making the most of the present? This Stoic question is a gentle reminder to ground ourselves in the here and now. It's about embracing the moment free from the weight of past regrets or future anxieties. In this instant, we can find a richness that no amount of past reminiscence or future planning can provide. In the present, we are in the command seat, able to act, feel, and live fully. It's our chance to dance with life, tune into our surroundings, interact with our loved ones, or just breathe in the beauty of existence. So why not take the plunge? Today, when your mind drifts towards the past or future, gently guide it back to the present. Notice the sights, sounds, sensations. You might just discover a whole new world waiting for you right here, right now. Let's embrace the stoic art of living in the present. Number four, am I practicing negative visualization? This might sound like a bit of a paradox. After all, isn't positivity what we should aim for? But stay with me because this is where the Stoic wisdom unveils its profound depth. Negative visualization is not about promoting pessimism. Instead, it's a unique, perhaps unexpected tool for fostering gratitude and resilience. It involves imagining potential difficulties or losses, not to worry about them, but to better appreciate what we currently have and prepare ourselves for adversity. Picture it like this. Imagine you're the captain of a ship navigating through a foggy sea. 
negative visualization acts as the lighthouse, highlighting the potential rocks and shallows that may lie ahead. By knowing their presence, you can steer clear of them, or at least be prepared for the impact. Let's give it a go. Today, consider a challenging scenario that could occur. How would you navigate it? And how does considering this scenario make you appreciate your current situation? It's like having a secret compass, allowing you to navigate life's unpredictable seas with more grace and gratitude. Welcome to the stoic mastery of negative visualization. Moving on to number five. What role does emotion play in my decisions? Emotions, they're like the colorful swirling paint strokes across the canvas of our lives. But while they add depth and dimension, they can also blur our perspective if they become the sole artist of our decision-making. Stoicism, far from advocating emotional suppression, urges us to critically examine the role our emotions play in our decisions. It's like stepping back from the canvas to see the broader picture. Think of it this way. You're the director of your life's movie. Emotions are crucial actors, but should they be given the liberty to rewrite the entire script? Or would a balanced ensemble cast featuring reason, logic and perspective make for a more harmonious performance? Today, when making a decision, take a moment to ask yourself, what role is emotion playing in this? If it's a starring role, invite the other actors on stage for a more balanced scene. Remember, you're the director. Cut through the dramatic fog and let your stoic wisdom guide the play. Lights, camera, action. Number six, how am I responding to adversity? Picture yourself as a seasoned adventurer. You've journeyed through tranquil meadows and have been enchanted by breathtaking vistas. But inevitably, you also encounter treacherous mountain passes and stormy seas. Adversity, like diverse landscapes, is an inherent part of our life's expedition. Stoicism empowers us with a remarkable perspective towards these adversities. It prompts us to ask, how am I responding to adversity rather than fearing its inevitability? This is akin to changing our view of obstacles from insurmountable walls to challenging climbing routes or viewing storms not as disasters but opportunities to display our skills as sailors. Remember, it's not the adversities but our reactions that truly shape our experiences. We can choose to grumble at the rocky terrain or view it as an exciting chance to hone our resilience, our courage and our strength. So, the next time you face adversity, pause and ask yourself this stoic question. React not with fear, but with the adventurous spirit of a stoic. Navigate with confidence, for every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. Strap on your boots, it's time for some stoic adventure. And finally, number seven. Am I living according to nature? Imagine yourself as a musician in the grand orchestra of the universe. Each player, from the humble ant to the mighty galaxy, contributes to the cosmic symphony. In the Stoic perspective, each of us has a unique part to play, in harmony with our true character and the rhythms of the natural world. Am I living according to nature? This isn't about hiking more or adopting a plant-based diet, though those might be part of your melody. It's about aligning your thoughts, actions and life with your innermost truth and the wider cosmos. It's about being in tune with who you truly are and resonating with the grandeur of existence. Today, consider this question. Are you playing your unique score in this cosmic orchestra, or are you trying to mimic someone else's tune? Are you living authentically, resonating with your true nature, or are you out of sync? Take a moment to listen to your inner music. If it's discordant, adjust your strings, retune your instrument, and let your authentic melody flow. Join the Stoic Orchestra, play your unique part, and contribute to the cosmic symphony. Let's create beautiful music together. So, let's embark on this profound journey of self-discovery together. Subscribe and hit the bell icon because the stoic wisdom waiting for you in our next video will surely transform your life.